Good evening, parents, teachers, family, friends, but most importantly, the class of 2020. I hope everyone is turning up the volume on their device right now. Never thought I'd have to say that in this speech, but instead of standing at a podium in a normal commencement ceremony, I'm kind of stuck in this very small box of yours. Now, lucky for you, this speech will have to be short because I happen to be very claustrophobic. <laughs> now, I can stand here on your screen and go on about how all this is so unfortunate and unfair to us, but I'm not. I mean, just a reminder, the class of 2020 still had three years and eight months of amazing high school experiences. I'm humbled to have worked with such a great council and the very strong leaders that have led this class. Together, we've accomplished so much. And class of 2020, we've grown mentally, physically, emotionally from little cubs into mighty and fierce lions. Now, to be honest with you, the journey may not have been pretty. Yeah, our hands got numb after endless pages of note taking. Maybe we put off 50 problems of math homework to catch up on Stranger Things. And yes, all right, we had numerous amounts of enraged mental breakdowns at 2 a.m. But you know what? Here we are today, realizing that we did it. Our end result may not have been what we wanted. I know many of my classmates feel as if this was all for nothing, but I can assure you the journey we went on was not for nothing. I mean, we've gained so much knowledge and made so many memories along the way, such as Powderpuff Girls football and our male cheerleading competitions. Remember our welcome back to school dance and our junior prom? Or those unforgettable pool parties? Also, remember dressing up to show class spirit for five days straight during our senior week? Or when we were all vibing the night away at senior luau? Of course, you can't forget about our four year homecoming dance win streak, let's go. And also, as a class, we ensured that not one graduate would have to pay and was guaranteed a beautiful golden stole for graduation. We came together for this. And along the way, we were exposed to so many moments that'll be cherished forever. So yes, these four years were all for something. We've been through so much together. Our years in high school consisted of hurricanes and earthquakes, lava flows, dang it, we even survived the so-called inbound missile attack, and now what? Are we really graduating through a global pandemic? It's because of these chaotic events that this class is unique. We have been exposed to so many lessons outside of the classroom. It's the new mentality we have from all this that makes us successful. If there's one thing we figured out on this journey, it's that despite all the adversities, we won't only get through them, but we can learn from them and get stronger. From our senior year being cut short, we've learned some valuable life lessons. We know not to take anything for granted anymore. I mean, what was once that dreadful Monday is now something we'd love to experience just one more time. We know to hug our squad a little tighter now whenever saying goodbye because you never know when that last time may be. Let's take what we learned from this experience and cherish every moment from now on. I promise that with this awareness, we will have an astounding impact on the world because of the type of people we've become. Graduates, I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. I'm so thankful for the new mindset we now have because of what we've been through together. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. And I hope that you always remember that once a Viking, always a Viking.